starting a citrus planting day at Terra Frutus. <laughs> We've got some limes, lemons, variegated lemons, oranges. Yep. Oh, Ron. <laughs> so Boris here is uh, digging a hole for this lime tree. This lime tree here. So notice the motion. You want to swing it over your head. <laughs> How to hold properly. <laughs> wide and deep and usually we plant it deeper in this climate because the soil erodes from all the rain it's a rainforest sometimes it's kind of dry here too sometimes we've had like sapodilla kind of dry out and die actually because oh, really? we planted them a little bit high and then the soil around them was dry it should be deeper than as we were saying yeah unless it's like a really low spot where water's coming in either way So this is a, an area near to buildings we wanted to plant citrus because they produce often throughout the year. Um, we're doing these rows here, so you can see the sticks. We've got like Mexican sunflowers, um, sticks which will grow quite soon. And we're going to have citrus like every five meters. And yeah, the citrus should produce like two, two times a year, maybe like four to six months of the year. We'll be able to come out here and pick citrus from these trees various kinds of citrus like Boris mentioned before also mandarins <laughs> mm, yeah we have three rows here going up that way towards bungalow 5 this is the community center Yeah, we're not going to be reusing the bag. Um, yeah, down where David is. Okay. You want to make sure to rip the bag over the hole. Yeah, you don't want to lose that good soil to the grass. And you can set it. I think that looks alright, yeah? Yeah. Got roots exposed so we can cover the top with more earth. And we want to make sure that it's straight. Yeah. Those are the planting tips by Fruit Adventure Boris. <laughs> hey, he's so good at planting, it's already got fruits on it. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Oops, not very good camera. Not camera, I, I was pointing up in the air. Like. <laughs> It'll adjust. Group planting efforts, feeding the community. Hmm. I like to step on it to compact it a bit. I don't know if it's good. Yeah, think I think so. Method? I think it's pretty good because you don't want it to be like too Loose. porous and then dry out and stuff like that because then the roots won't go into it. So about making those feature feature length films. <laughs> Another thing about this area is we try to start with short plants up front so that as people like walk out here they can see like the short plants and then the medium height plants and then the higher like oranges and stuff in the back. So hopefully we can see fruits on the trees before we walk out here and we know what we're going for.
a neat tool. I want one. Keep blending the bindle peen at the glasses. Pinto. <laughs> Keep the pinto peanut growing. Keep the border lines. Hold the line. <laughs> Hold the citrus line. <laughs> Swedish engineering. Peter, die one of these. Or do you run it loose?